Hey everybody, I am in my kitchen trying to figure out what's the best angle to shoot some videos for you. Yep, I'm getting ready to cook. And what I got right here is a Ziploc bag. And one of the main rules of being in the kitchen is to clean up as you go. And my husband took a box and turned it into a little container for me to put a Ziploc bag, to fill up Ziploc bags if I have leftovers, but also to turn it into a little garbage pail so that as I'm cooking, cutting up onions, when I have trash that needs to be thrown away, I can just toss it right into that little, little garbage pail. I have my water. I have a timer that's set for 15 minutes. I have a sink full of hot soapy water. Let me see if I can show you the hot soapy water. Uh, let me turn this around. There we go. And a purple rag. That's my view outside. Let me turn it back around again. I have a kitchen that is all windows. So every it's it's kind of an overcast day, which makes it good for me to be able to uh, film some stuff because I don't have blowouts in the window. I have on my apron that my brother-in-law made me. It's got fly lady on it, but I can't stand stuff around my neck. So I've pinned it to the bodice of my shirt. The main thing about an apron is you need a place to wipe your hands. And sometimes the apron's the place that goes. It goes. I have um, a clean dish towel. It says I'm flying. I have a clean purple rag that I'm, I've already wiped down my counters because I live, we have a life with cats. And I have, um, I cringe at the cats getting on the counter. I've got one cat that hates me because when she was a kitten, I would spray her with a little bit of a, uh, water when she would get on my counter so now she hates me so i'm not ever doing that again to a kitten but here i am getting ready to cook now what's on the agenda for today is i'm going to make biscuits pan of biscuits i don't need many i only need three or four biscuits i'm going to make a, an iron skillet full of cornbread I'm going to saute some uh, celery and onions. I have onions. I have a big thing of onions. And, and here's a rule. When you cut up one onion, you might as well cut up two. And then if you saute them, you can put them in a little bag and put them in the freezer. And you always got some sauteed onions for you know right there for, for whatever you need them for. Um, I've got my crock pot right here. Let's see if I can swing this around and sh show you my crock pot because I love crock pots. That's my crock pot and I'm going to be utilizing that and out in the distance is Robert's treehouse and that's where he spends a lot of his day. So my crock pot is going to be used to saute my onions because it's high. It's, it's got sides on it. They're not going to splatter. I'm going to put my sausage in there too. So that's, I'm just going to give you the basics. And I might even show you how to fry chicken. Which you're just going to die how easy it is. He's bringing me home some fresh chicken thighs. That's our favorite piece of meat in a chicken. And it's usually the that and the breast are the hardest that you have to cook the longest. So we're, we're just going to have some fun with this. And I'm going to play around. My kitchen counters are clean. I'm ready to go. And here's the next thing. I have a cutting board. Yes, it's red. I like red. But this cutting board can go in the dishwasher and be sterilized. So I'm going to be cooking most every, cutting most everything up on top of this cutting board because it makes me happy now other things I'm going to be doing as soon as I 
log off of, of doing a video for you. And, and my videos may not necessarily be a uh, video video, but it's going to be pictures strung into a video because that makes them shorter for you. If there's something I need to show you a technique, then, then I'll, I'll do that too. Um, I've got a, a book I'm going to listen to, uh, Bill O'Reilly's new book that came out on Tuesday, uh, Killing the SS. I've been anxious to read that. I read all of his books. So that's going to keep me occupied and keep my mind going and keep me calm in the kitchen. I'm not going to get a hurt, get in a hurry. Every 15 minutes, I'm going to take a little break, sit down and rest for a few minutes. And, and I'm only going to cook one thing at a time. Now, I know you think that's crazy that you should multitask, but here's the deal. When you cook one thing at a time, and I mean, I'm going to make some biscuits and I'm going to clean up after myself, get them in the oven, and, and then I can rest for a second, maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Maybe I'll put in, post a message going out, but I'm just going to pace myself and do one thing at a time. So I'll get the biscuits in the oven. They need about 15 minutes to cook. And while that's happening, I'll probably chop up some onions to go in the crock pot. When Robert gets home with the sausage, I'll throw that in the crock pot. And that'll be cooking all by itself over there while I'm doing the rest of the stuff. And then I'll show you how to make cornbread. Cornbread's easy. And you always need to start have the basic of everything in your kitchen, buttermilk, buttermilk. I have self-rising cornmeal mix. I have self-rising flour, which I love self-rising anything like that because it saves a step. It just saves a step. Now, this is, um, a test. I need to make this stuff, but I'm also going to make it for dinner tonight. And we have uh, neighbors next door and I'm trying to figure out how to invite them for Thanksgiving dinner because um, his wife is in a wheelchair and we're, our house is not wheelchair accessible. So I'm thinking about making a whole meal just to take over to them. So this could be the beginnings of that. Uh, one other thing I like to cook for Thanksgiving is green beans. And I've got some packages of frozen green beans in the freezer. And I'm going to get those out and cook those. Uh, I'm just going to pace myself all afternoon and clean up as I go. My dishwasher has just a few items in it. It has been emptied this morning, so it's just got breakfast stuff. Uh, I would, well, you... That's not good if you're allergic to corn. So you would you would probably make um, a stuffing without with breadcrumbs. Now in the past I have a whole freezer bag, a big gallon bag, full of breadcrumbs, and this comes from some bread that I made that I didn't much like the texture of. So I ground it all up in my food processor. My food processor is a, an essential tool in my kitchen. Let me show you another essential tool that I absolutely love. Uh, let me get it out here. Well, it's not there. Let me do the bottom turn style. Well, I just dumped everything out. That's not going to work. Now I can't close it. Well, I don't know where I put it. Hate it when that happens. I'll have to fix that. I'll have to get Robert to crawl under there and get it fixed for me. It's a chopper. Simple little chopper. It's made by KitchenAid. And you go boom, boom, boom. And I don't know where it is. That makes me... Oh, well, it's right in front of my eyes. Here it is. This is my chopper. And it's a great little tool for doing just a few chopped up stuff. You do like that. I think they're like 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. 
and they're just a cool tool. It makes me happy. If I'm going to do a lot of things, I use this. And this I got on eBay. My mother used to have one. And I found this one on eBay. This didn't have this pin, and Robert fixed it for me. But if you have to do a lot of onions, bam, you can get them done quickly with a grinder like that. But it's just as simple sometimes to do, do it by hand and cut them by hand. And it's not hard. You have to peel an onion, and you cut it in half, and you start chopping. I'll show you how to do that. Anyway... I've been talking for 10 minutes. My oven is has got some cast iron stuff in there. Let me tell you a little secret about cornbread. When you make cornbread, you gotta get your skillet hot. So I put my skillet on top of the stove, right here, and I get it hot with some oil in it. And when it's good and hot, now I don't put it on high because I don't cook on high in my kitchen. Because cooking on high, you're going to burn something. You're going to set off the smoke alarm. So I've learned to put things on medium to medium high. And then get the skillet hot. Because you know when it gets hot. And that's when I pour the batter in for the cornbread. Now I'm going to be getting out my, my canisters. In fact, I think I might. Can I get over here to, to them? My self-rising cornmeal. I keep a canister ready to go. I'm gonna get that out and I have flour too, self-rising flour. And I bought these canisters on Amazon and then I cut the flour label off and taped it to the top so that I've got exactly what I need. And it's not fun to use self use plain flour in biscuits you were making that you thought were, were biscuits that you were making that you thought would rise. That's not a fun thing to do. So this'll be fun. This'll be a lot of fun. And maybe I'll, I'll learn something new and you'll learn something new and together will help train a new generation on how to cook Southern. That's all, that's all I've ever known is how to cook Southern. So we'll be doing one thing at a time. And I just want you to be patient with yourself because the bag of flour is like two bucks. When you get one cup out, it's a quarter's worth. Don't worry about making a mistake. It's okay. You're not gonna make a mistake. You're going to have some fun, and you're going to get some things done. So stand by. Liz just posted what's for dinner at her house. It's steak, baked potato, and corn. That sounds fun. And closing that cabinet door. So folks, have some fun today. I'm going to have fun making videos for you. I might not get them all put together for you today, but I'm going to make the pictures and help walk you through what I'm doing. And then I'll give a voice over to everything. And I'll tell you, I hear. I don't use Crisco except in um, this pan coat concoction that, that I found many years ago. And I take one part plain flour and one part Crisco and put it in the mixer or in the food processor and mix it all up. And then I, there's my husband's home. I don't know why he backed up. Anyway, um, I put it all in the food processor and make a paste out of it and put it back in a canister for to, to coat the pans of cake, cake pans. And you don't get white stuff on your cake or anything. And I call it pan coat. 
So I will talk to you all later. He's going to bring bro groceries in, and that's my cue to put them away. <laughs> he goes to the grocery store, and I put them away. I love you all. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.